get their speedster involved, but they found it downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster does. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And this fake extra point attempt failed big time. Not only did they not get it, they went backwards. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? What maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. On that first down. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Roethlisberger will throw. And this one is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Roethlisberger. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And in for the Steelers, touchdown! Chase Claypool, 57 yards. And the Steelers are on the board here in this Super Bowl. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Boswell good with the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. An opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Garoppolo's throw pulled in by Kittle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. 
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Now we'll throw here to his running back. And bulldozing his way through. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball, let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. Play action. Garoppolo. Getting this out to the flat. Mostert. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it'll be second and 10. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 47. Two yards the loss and now third and 12. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo taking a shot for Samuel. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And now a low liner. I think he missed hit it. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Start the drive with Harris. Room here to run. 30, 10, 5, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Najee Harris, 60 yards. And the Steelers have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. 
So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Roethlisberger eluding the pressure right. That's caught at the one. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. For the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Garoppolo and the Niners now. Down by a field goal, a minute 45 to play. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And they work this well up field across the 45. And they'll try to save the timeouts to use on defense if need be as he runs up and spikes it. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Second and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Open man is Sanu, just like last play. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Super Bowl this has been and the biggest play comes now. It's fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert and he's not going to get the first. I don't even think he made it back to the line of scrimmage. Field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Oh, Roethlisberger going to throw. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down. It's Harris looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the Steel City.
And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name 